I like it when I lose so much money I can barely breathe. That's the thing I go for. I'm addicted to that feeling. Oh my no, God. God! I like Phil Ivy a lot, but I have not felt like that. I've never enjoyed losing. To be honest, I'm okay with losing money. Uh, it's more I, I dislike if I feel like I've played badly. More on that Phil Ivy topic. Come in later. All right, we'll talk more about it. Back to the poker for the moment. So today, for example, we're already down quite a bit of money. I haven't done much of my hair today, I've just realised. Not even done anything with it. Oh, it's a disgrace. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, let's just jam this hand because I'm panicking and I've run out of time. <laughs> That's also a good reason. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Pleasure to be here, as always. Shout out to Fakey, Boba Denio Calego, and Oxidosis, Boba Denio Calego. <laughs> Choosing on a side board, it's obviously a very defined range, typically. I wouldn't expect too many turn bets, really, because they're kind of repping a jack X, so the bet turns a bit unusual. And they're still just repping a jack X, to be honest, uh, like a jack four. I expect a lot of river bets. Maybe goes check check winning against King High. I don't think King High bluffs here. White magic. Yeah, yeah. King two, all right. Yeah, white magic means one thing, reading ability. I don't think King High bluffs here. King two, all right. Let's jam Jack Queen. I'm feeling good about this hand. Feeling less good about this hand. I'm feeling good about this hand. I'm feeling less good about this hand. Nah, I was never feeling good about this hand. Love <laughs> checks back. We definitely could bet it. I like to check some tens and bet some tens. Um, it's a very probable turn, so it's really easy for opponents to like. Oh, I've uh, got shot. Let me go for it. Oxy maybe is sensing uh, is wise to avoid it. We'll go for a bet ourselves though. Definitely get some value from six eight six nine five eight five nine five four six four seven four. We'll probably call turn bet. Could double check. It's an option. The check race sucks a little bit. Folding is an option here as well now because he's repping a way better hand than us and we have a terrible blocker. We don't actually expect this to be a worse hand and we have no outs against any value. So I'm going to fold. Could we check raise uh, bluff there? For sure. I mean, we are bluff catching, but we just have better bluff catchers, right? And I mean, we are kind of on cap right? We have two pair, we have straights ourselves, we have jack X, weaker jack X, for example. I wouldn't fold jack X if we had jack four, jack three, jack two, something like that. All right. Thank you for following Mr. Bust. Let's hope that's not going to be our name at the end of this stream, huh? Certainly don't want to be Mr. Bust. <laughs> so we jam next three and aces, not so good. We jam twos and the queen seven. Held though, that's good. Okay, we're looking for jacks, kings, sixes. Whoa. Hopefully that's the spark to turn the session around. Mm. Any big hands. Any king. LGM 6 4. Hoping for a fold. We did not get a fold. But we were alive and we hit and we win. Sanchez PB. Boa Soche. We're going to go for a bet because why not? Like, I over lopping? Definitely. But like, how can they call it two? I hope. One minute, 37 seconds later. He might, he might sniff it out. Yeah, we do limp a lot of ASEX, and I mean, we do check down a lot of ASEX, and so we would also bet ASEX with that sizing. Fairly comfortable bluffing there. We don't have tons of air, if I'm honest, and so I think it is pretty sensible to bluff our unpaired hands in most spots there. And then obviously, that's kind of the extent of our value. We could go bigger, could go smaller. It all seems reasonable. Jamming in the king's not so fun though. Uh, we're gonna call full through suit. One of the things is that I, I do think it probably, if you're full of confidence, it probably predisposes you more towards taking, ah, oh, take some marginal lines. You think he's hand reading well right now, etc., etc. Let's say we need to sow some seeds as best we can. Now I'm gonna sow seeds here by this silly little kind of check raise. We could check jam. But I don't think a check jam makes too much sense. I think a check raise kind of can be fun. Let's get a wide float and jam the turn. Or maybe he jams over with ace king, ace queen. Or he folds, in which case, also no problem. To be honest, I'm going to limp call it. Maybe he makes big mistakes post-lob. I don't know enough yet. We're going to limp call, of course. Well, I guess we'll limp call. Not a limp. Feels like value. Check, maybe? Checks. Feels like ace king. Check, check. Hit a queen. A nine's probably better. A nine's probably better. A nine's probably better, ladies and gentlemen. Tens would be sad. Goes three BB. I reckon this is ace king with the ace of diamonds or king of diamonds. Ace queen with a queen of diamonds would be lovely. I think I'm going to jam this. It could be jacks or it could be tens, maybe. I think I'm going to jam. Or it could be kings with a king of diamonds. Felt that value. 
felt like that indeed. Uh, Punio Gaming Q uh, asks a question, a good question. What's the difference between spin flash and normal spins? So with spin flash, you start with 300 chips um, here. So you see that's how many chips we have. I've sort of, these are in big blinds, but you start at 300 chips. In a normal spin and go, you start with 500 chips. So you start with um, more chips. And also the blind levels are a lot longer. So here the blinds go up every minute, one, zero, and now the blinds go up. So every they go up they go up every minute in flashes, whereas in reg speeds they go up every three minutes. It's quite a big difference, right? Because it means after um, three minutes, should we jam here? Yeah, I, I actually don't know if this is even a jam. Um, yeah, I mean, must can't be bad against any two cards. Plays well Marty way as well. I don't, I don't actually know though. We're ahead slightly. Five or ten. Five or ten. If you play a lot of if you play a lot of. Uh, regular speeds uh typically you're gonna have a bit of lower variance in your results um because less of the game is just about all ins in flash games you need to have a bigger sample um to have the same confidence in your in your results right now the good thing is uh you play a lot of games a lot quicker in flash games you can play 15 games an hour per table you count in reg speeds you may place half of that amount seven and a half something like that so um yeah that's a little difference so guys i want to talk more about why I disagreed with Phil Ivey when he said, um, I like it when I lose so much money, I can barely breathe. That's the feeling I go for. I'm addicted to that feeling. Um, I think Phil Ivey is one of the greatest players that's ever lived in poker, if not the greatest. Um, but I think personally, I disagree with that. Uh, I think everybody has their own personal spectrum, their own relationship towards risk. And uh, we should not, let's say, all aspire to uh, a similar level of uh, just feeling comfortable with such heavy losses when of course everybody's situation is pretty uh, different i think phil's probably better placed to lose hundreds thousands tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands then many of us are uh, playing ten dollar spins or something so i personally think uh, you can be a fantastic poker player and have a really really successful career uh, let's say uh, not enjoying the feeling of liking it when you lose. And in fact, um, using that feeling of loss as actually an emotion to do better and to try and improve certain aspects of yourself and make you more competitive in the games. So that's uh, one of the rare things which I disagree with Phil. But if Phil is watching, and I think Phil's a subscriber to this channel, uh, we still love you, Phil. So if you'd like to come on and debate why you actually think you're correct, you're very welcome to. Thanks, mate.